Hello, Clayton Stumpleton here, Central Illinois PFR location lead. June 3rd, um, we finally made it to the point where, where we are back in the fields planting some corn. Um, the study I'm in is our disc opener study where we are using prescri prescription tillage technologies, STP disc openers. So I have in front of me is my conventional seed opener right here. And then to my left is the STP openers. And dig in the trench, the wall of the conventional oper openers is a lot more compact than, than the STP openers. Um, I'm quite amazed. They do a little bit of tillage inside the, inside the seed trench here. They also, if we look down deep in this trench, find a couple seeds here. The trench is uh, fairly wider than uh, the standard trench. So it makes kind of a U-shaped U-shaped seed trench instead of a V trench. We're trying to get those seeds to the very bottom of that trench without any air pockets. We come back here to the conventional seed trench here, the conventional openers. I'll find my other seed here, there he is. And he was at the bottom of the trench, but the trench is fairly more narrow compared to the STPs. I'm gonna be interested to see how this works yield-wise coming at the end of the end of the season here. Um, we are in no-till conditions today. Little little more moisture than I would actually like on a typical typical year, but we're we're June 3rd here, so it's time, it's time to go. And a continuation of our look into the STP disc opener from Prescription Tillage Technologies based out of Iowa. Today is June 18th. We're back in the field. Last time you heard me talk was June 3rd, the day we planted this plot. We were in a big hurry that day. Um, that was our first day out planting. So we were in a hurry, we dug some trench. I was really impressed watching the digging back that trench after we planted this plot behind the STP openers. It was totally different, that trench versus the standard openers. It was definitely wider at the bottom and it was much looser soil. We can tell there is less compaction behind this STP opener versus the standard opener. So what makes the STP opener special? Let's go ahead and take a look. This is the STP opener here. It has a serrated edge. And then it has a bevel, just like a standard disc opener does. But this does a little bit of tillage in the seed trench. And then we can have some, by creating that tillage, we granulate some moisture, moist soil, and it drops it on top of the seed. Where a true V trench, we might compact that, that seed trench, especially in conditions where we planted, planted in this plot this, this season. We weren't in the best conditions. We were a little bit wet, wetter than I would have typically planted on a normal year. But by doing that, we got some moist soil dropped back on top of those seeds. And therefore, I don't believe we were compacting the trench nearly as bad with these STP openers versus the stock openers. They utilize their own hub which they say is stronger. It's definitely wider than a stock hub. And that helps create less blade deflection. So we won't have as much blade flex with these openers compared to the, the standards. I also believe they're a little bit thicker. They're pretty heavy blades. I'll be interested to see the longevity of them. Of course, we're never gonna use them enough here to, to know how good they're actually gonna be longevity wise. It's kind of like the poly, poly closing wheels. Um, we're just using it for small plots. So let's go ahead and look at some plants. I would say after digging behind the STPs versus the standards, there's probably a, the trench is probably a little bit easier to dig with the STPs. Um, that's subjective though, that's kind of my opinion. Um, looking at these plants, the STPs are here on my left and then the standards are on my right. So the vegetative growth from the STPs, we've got a mid to late V3 with these two plants, an early V3 with this plant here. And then with the standards, very early V3, he's at V2, and then he's at early V3. So we definitely have more vegetative growth with the STP openers. Hopefully that'll, that will correlate to yield um, when we have the combine rolling here this fall. Root growth, Probably a little bit more root growth. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because you can't get all your roots out when you dig plants. But I would say there's 
especially these two plants right here are ahead of all three of those plants. It's going to be interesting to see how this turns out this fall. Let's go look at some soybeans. Looking at the soybeans here, these were planted on June 7th. A little bit drier conditions. Um, we didn't have any rain really in between the 3rd and the 7th. We, we were planting pretty well non-stop. But looking at the beans here, I really can't tell if one is better than the other right now. I think this is really going to have to come at yield and stand counts, which we have not done the stand counts on these yet. One thing that I forgot to mention when I was explaining the SDP yield curve is they are not they are not timed. They are able to one's actually a little bit bigger than the other, so one spins just a touch faster than the other blade. That way they they don't get locked intertwined with each other. And that probably adds to the little bit of tillage that they are doing inside the trench. Um, with that, this is a product that I thought was gaining a lot of interest at the National Farm Machinery Show. I've gathered a lot of questions about these openers and thought this is a product that we probably probably need to, to, needed to test. Um, I'm excited to see how they work throughout the season and we'll keep you updated. Thanks for joining.